Hello everybody, welcome back to Yunus Kick Tips and thanks for joining me. Recently I have done Stork and the Baby in the Basket as a kick topper for Christian and Kick. And mention about that I will do another tutorial soon, Baby in a Cradle, for the same kind of purpose. So today's tip is how to make that simple cradle with the baby inside without using any kind of cutters and molds. What do you see on the table? This is what we need. Quite simple. I have those pastillage parts that what I did yesterday. Because when you do something out of pastillage, you will join it and you put something else inside. So that pastillage piece will hold another piece inside or near to it. So that's why it's a good idea to make it a day before and let it really nice and dry. As you see over here, I will be comfortably join this together and then work on it further. So that's why uh, I recommend you to do it a day before, but I'm going to show you again exactly what I did yesterday, today, one more time. So I have here a digital scale, one tenth of a gram I can measure with this. Most of the times I give you grams that for the parts of this, uh, then you must have something like this. It's quite recommendable. Uh, starch we need for to roll the pastillage. I have here uh, for rolling purpose PVC pipe, some chocolate for gluing purpose. I have a bit of pink real icing to we do some piping around the cradle. And then I have my three musketeers here, oil spray, water spray and cold spray. And uh, not much of tools, just a scissor. And then I will use my pencil to show you how to make templates, a craft knife and a plastic knife. So uh, all what we need here, white pastillage to make the body of the cradle. And I will have pink uh, modeling paste, gum paste, I would say, uh, black gum paste and a bit of skin color for to make the baby body and the head. And then also yellow, very light yellow uh, gum paste to make the hair of the baby. So I will show you first how to make this template done. Even the very simple things, you have to do your drawing first. So the cradle will be, if I look at it from sideways, there will be sort of like a back piece, all right? And then this will be like the center part. So that is actually the size what I did yesterday. So when you look at it from sideways, like this, okay? And then the, the foot part, it is, will be shorter. So that will be about something like this on the ground, right? So uh, as you see over here, that is this one, and that is this one, all right? So when we're looking at this kind of things, that this one has to be this size, and has to go here about, about here and, and there. So heart shape is very difficult to make it symmetrical. So I like to do a paper cutting system. So that is my heart shape here like this, and then it has got this part, like this, and like that, because we want to have this one actually stop, not sort of moving around. That's why I like to make it slightly straight here, All right? So something like this, and then a little heart here, a kind of little window as decoration, All right? And if I want to make it something also smaller than that, so uh, practically that will be exactly the same size, like this, like this, and then that. And then the size is a bit, a little bit more shorter, starting from here, that's the center. Something around that direction. Correct? So you got the idea. And after that, there's also a little heart shape here. So all what you have to do is very simple. Because it's symmetrical, you have to right? Cut this off. I'm gonna make another drawing and uh, share with you later on. So that is, make sure that you're looking to the light, you're looking to the light, and then this, this end bits is, are joining together, right? That's it. So if we cut this out of paper like that, you will have exactly the symmetrical heart shape. Mm 
like that. And then last bit is straight. And little heart shape, exactly the same way. That's it. So that's the big piece. Pretty similar, correct? And the small one is exactly the same way of cutting. So we have that, uh, what do you call, template ready that I can show you how to cut that. Paper cutting is a very, very useful method in cake decorating. Like dividing things in the right measurement and then like uh, placing things in the right place. Really, really important. Also, also it's like a, a circumference, dividing in the same, same sort of segments. It's also very important. That is also a little bit different, but it's okay. Still good. All right, now that part is important because you have to get the bed here is about see so this height somewhere here and the bed has to stay around in that area right? which is this one pretty much the same okay so that's the area and how I did that I roll it and I put it over here and let it dry that's it okay let's get into the action now if you watched me before, if you're regular, uh, you know the deal, how to make the pasta yash softer in the microwave. Or if you're watching me just new, I just want to tell you that uh, pasta yash, if it's like a 200 gram, uh, take the one zero off, is 20, divide by two is 10. 10 seconds in the normal microwave, household microwave, will make pasta yash, which you done yesterday or, or weeks before, it will make it soft and you can just get ready to roll. So, starch little bit and roll the pasta yash. You see I'm rolling this direction. I'm not able to make it this one completely. This is nice straight but not this one. This is a bit bubbly. So then I have to turn it and then roll it other side and it will be just nice and flat. Okay. All right, then we put over here this one using craft knife. Let's do this one first. That's not clean, that's better. Pasta edge is a very good uh, paste to cut. It cuts very cleanly. The only thing is that you have to use a very clean knife. Okay. Go around like that. And time to time, you have to clean your knife with the wet and dry. And try to stay in the same spot. If you rest the pasta yash slightly longer, it even cuts better. That's it. So this is how I prepare this one. And then when you have this heart shape out, you touch on the corner to make a bit of bubble. It will even look better on the surface later on because we're going to use this one here as an additional decoration. All right, same as this one. I'm going to use this one here. All right, now you understand uh, how I get these parts. So this one is again here resting. And then we are ready now to join this, uh, the cradle together with the white chocolate. If something so straight, and everywhere touching, we don't need the pipe. So make sure that your chocolate is on the top, is nice and level. So get rid of all those air bubbles and then make sure there's like a level, right? Touch very nicely and very carefully, very thin, something like that. And then touch the other side too. Every time we touch, you have to make it this one level again, okay? Like this, okay? That's one time business. You cannot make mistake here. Just put it on, like that. And the second one. You have 
to wait for a while till it's set. Make sure it's level. So if you want to check, you can take it out like this and put it on. That's pretty good. Put it back. And then you can wait for a while or you can use cold spray to get quickly set. That's it. Okay, next thing like I like to pipe something around. Let's do one side first and then let it dry and then do the other side after. So I'm going to stick that little heart which comes from this spot here. Right. Just like that. And then make a simple frame. Make sure that your rail is nice and sloppy and nice and runny. Not too soft, not too hard. That's done. Okay. Something simple like that. That's it. I like to uh, do the other side later on, when this one is a little bit more dry. Okay, now, let's, when this one drying, I like to do the preparations for the baby. The baby head is exactly 12 gram, so that's why I said this scale is very important, so you have to measure exact same proportion. I'm going to do exact the same head, what I did for the stalk and baby in the basket, so that will be a bit repetition for the people that who have seen that before, but it's also okay to see it one more time because it's quite important. So uh, I just do a, one a nice bowl, right? And it's a good idea to put a little bit of oil to make it a bit more nice and smooth on the top, right? And uh, choose the right smooth side. So you see there's some joints over here that says to go to behind, all right? And then like turn this one to a little bit more pear shape but not too extreme, just a slightly pear shape, right? Like this. So, okay, like that. And in the middle, you have to use some sort of like a square uh, piece of plastic or wood, doesn't matter. Exactly in the center, you push. Something like that. So that creates sort of like a, uh, the upper, upper cheek level. All right. And all what we need is a skewer again. Uh, that flat side on this side uh, is important to use and make sure it's nice and clean and roundish. So you push one eye here, one eye there. And also like uh, this part here, you have to use this part of your finger holding the, holding the chin and then push it in the center and pull it down. So you create that lower lip, which is very important for the babies. So then what we do, we take some more of this. We 
take a little bit of moisture here, just a bit of water. All right. Put a bit of moisture here, a bit of moisture on the side here for the ears. So when you're putting on, you will have a comfortable join. This one goes here. Right. And then that one. Two ears has to be pre-rolled seam cut before you join. That's pretty same. One here. Use the same tool again, this one. See, front is zero level. The back is just like a moon shape. That's it. Our baby is already ready. So what we have to do, make the eyes a bit more deeper. And then later on, we're gonna put the eyes and also one small little teeth at the lower part of the mouth. Now, while we're dealing with the same color, I like to also do two hands. Again, we want to make it same size. So that means you have the portion. That is one, that is two, it is equal. Just like this, flat here. And then we use the scissor and cut four fingers. One, two, three and four. So once you have the fingers, just play a little bit, like make sure that you have a sort of like a fingernails look like the end bit. So that one is not important because it goes underneath the blanket. Right? one goes this way. I should use smaller scissor, but I don't have it now, so I just go ahead with that one. Just a touch, and also like touch on top to create that fingernails. Okay, the hands are ready, the head is ready. Now we have to uh, worry about inside here. Let me check this is, is the finish or that is dry. Oh, this is nice and dry. I can pipe this the other side now. I will pipe and come back to you. We don't want the baby all the way sink inside the cradle. So that's why we have to put some sort of bed, mattress inside to lift up the baby. Uh, so that is this part actually what I'm showing in this drawing. So in the meantime, as you've seen that I have finished my drawings, this is a bit more uh, nicer indication than just drawing uh, pencil marks. So all my pipings are finished. So we carry on now putting all this uh, rest of the tank. So I like to put, as I said, a kind of lift inside the, inside the cradle to lift up the baby, right? Just to simulate that inside profile and do something like this. And this will go inside here, that's good. So let me just check how many grams is this. That is 50 gram. All right. So this part is 50 gram. All right, now, don't have to make much about this. Just place it inside. We don't even need any kind of water or something. Just as you see that is lifting up, all right? Now, second thing is I like to do the pillar. Something about this size will be nice. The pillow is 15 gram. Something like this. And then it's got four ears.
So if you do that for extension, it looks like pillar, right? Then I prepare kind of like indent here to get the head nicely sitting in there, all right? And then place this one. In here. Okay. Now, the body of the baby, which is this part here, just single it. The thing is a bit too big. That's about 30 gram. Something like this. So that's the knee, that's the knee, that's the body, that's the bump here. All right. So just want to place it here. This is only kind of lift under the blanket. It represents the body of the baby. That's fine. It doesn't have to be proportionally done. Okay. Make sure that the amount is correct. So if you put over here this one here. It is just right. Okay, take it out again. Now we're going to work on the baby face. So because I don't want to do it here, I want to do it separately. That's better. Small amount of white. Maybe some of you remember from the other video. I will do exactly the same thing. All right. So very small white thing represent the lower first teeth. It's still too big. Something like that. That's done. And then two little black dot. But what I do, I'm just going to a little bit larger. And put it over here. All right, like that. And cut in two pieces. That gives me better direction. Okay. Let's see. That's small enough. Mm, yes. Kind of. A little bit too big. I chop this one off a little bit, like that, and this one, like that. All right, do it again. If you're not 100% sure, do it again. You won't be regret. Okay, they are all ready. It's a bit fiddly, but that's the way you have to do. All right, now the little bit of moisture. Just do that here. Just a little bit of moisture here. A little bit of moisture here. That's enough, trust me. Okay. Now, take your hands a bit wet, touch here, and put it here. That's it. This one goes here. This one goes here. Come on, stay. Yes. And then push it back a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. Okay. So now let's do the hair. I will use again light yellow. If you like, you can use different colors, of course. You can even do the eye color different. So you need a piece of cut cutboard as a platform, right? Roll this on the paper. It's 
so it's nice and sticky here, right? And then what I want you to do, take a 35 millimeter uh, daisy cutter and then cut this nicely. All right, as good as possible. This has got a very sort of, uh, sort of flat cutting areas, which is, doesn't give it a nice cut, but doesn't matter. You can just touch here and bits to make it right. And then a little bit of oil here, stick it. Roll again on top, slightly. And we take a knife. Now, shape of the knife is very important. It has to be like, like this shape. It cannot be like straight and like that. So because I'm gonna touch here, cut the end bits, but don't cut the center. All right, just go and turn around. See what I mean? I'm actually just creating the hair like that. You see this hand turning on the same spot. That's a good idea because it's very simple and everybody can do it. And at the end of the day, you will have something reasonably good for a baby hair. Don't have to think about how am I going to do it, etc. So that is already good enough. It looks like a flower now, but when you put it on, it will look like the hair. A little bit of moisture on this area and place it on. However you like. Look at that. Even that when you're putting on, you can just put like a, some curlies. Like the, you can just do it like this. You know, baby hair like a bit curly. Like that, like that. That's it. Place it here. If you want, you can put a bit of moisture, of course. So, right, baby head is there. Now we have to do the, the blanket. As you know me, my aim is always using as less as possible uh, complicated tools. Uh, so I can just uh, think about like just doing something like this, just the straight lines, and then uh, as deep as possible, but don't cut the, the funnel, of course. And you just carry on like that, all right, like that. And then after that, every every bit in between, you put another sort of like a um, kind of like something like this. Go for this direction first. After that, go for this direction, right? Every every corner, and after that, go for this direction. You go. You will create that quilt, right? So, but what I like to do. Uh, this is sort of option that you can do, but this is also another good option because that gives exactly the printing, sort of exactly the imprint for a cushiony sort of quilt looking thing, especially for that proportion is perfectly all right. It is a piece of fluorescent light cover. So uh, this kind of things, I always keep it because I know that one day I will need it, all right? So uh, because I want to get sort of diagonal here and this is the, this is the blanket uh, template. So I'm going to push this way, uh, but uh, I like to do a slightly, slightly powdering here. Just a little bit of dryness I like to create on the surface, right? And then here, here's this part. Push this on. Oh, don't move, don't move. It, it has to be stay on the same spot. I'm sure if you look at it, some hardware store or something, you can find a piece of this plastic. No problem at all. All right, now I'm gonna turn over. See what I mean? That is like, like look like gold. Look like a nice gold, right? 
I'm actually scared to push it a bit more. I should have pushed a little bit more. All right, then turn on like this. If I use a piece of cling wrap, I could have pushed all the way down. So now I'm going to turn this one a slight fault here and then place it here. It's a bit too long. I'm going to cut it. Don't have to make it so long. All right. That means I have to cut also this template which I give you. And I'm going to also alter this one later on. So that is the blanket on top. I like to go a little bit more underneath the sort of like a neck, like this. Right, then well, what we have to do, we have to place the hands. A little bit of moisture here, a little bit of moisture there. Better have to have like some sort of brush for that. That is here. And this one. Also put it underneath. That's it. Our baby is looking and saying, what's happening there? What am I doing here? All right. I'm sure you realize that in the tutorial, I use some other tools than what I show you at the beginning. So please pay attention to that course material, uh, which is provided by the link uh, below. And then rather than to just rely on the, what I show you at the beginning. So that was my little baby in the cradle for that christening or naming or even for baby shower cake you can use. I would like to show you a few more simple ideas in the future for the same purpose. Maybe just a baby name on the blocks that you can place on the cake or booties will be also a very good idea for the same purpose. So don't forget that you can have longer videos from yanesb.com and you will have also one day free trial if you're joining us first time. So just follow the link on the screen. And uh, thank you so much for your time today and watching me. Please like, share and subscribe uh, to stay tuned with us. Also, if you want to make me happy, of course. Until next tutorial, God bless you all. Bye for now.